the leading causes of death in the modern world, like dementia and cancer, are closely linked to aging. Is it possible to address the aging process itself so we can live longer and stay healthier? Globally, around 150,000 people die each day, and over 100,000 of these deaths are attributed to aging. Conditions like heart disease often mean years of physical decline and a loss of independence before death. Aging also brings issues not really classified as diseases like frailty, forgetfulness, and incontinence. Instead of tackling each age-related problem individually, why not target the age process itself? Have we piqued your interest yet? Well, here are the top seven breakthroughs that show this is far from science fiction, and rather, it combines past discoveries with new, cutting-edge contemporary science. Number 1. Negligible Senescence Getting old might seem like an unavoidable fact of life. At first glance, it seems like a gradual process of wearing out, much like man-made machines. But closer a closer look at, look at the animal, animal kingdom, kingdom reveals, reveals that aging is, is not, not an inescapable law of biology. For humans, humans, the risk, the of, risk death of death doubles, doubles every, eight every eight years, but, but some animals, animals exhibit what's known as negligible senescence, a scientific term for aging. Certain tortoises, fish, salamanders, and a few other species show a risk of death that does not increase with age. By definition, these animals effectively do not age. In the wild, evolution has provided some organisms with mechanisms to repair their damaged cells and molecules, and to eliminate and replace those that are beyond repair. With the right conditions, these creatures maintain their youthfulness and vitality far longer than us humans. For instance, the bowhead whale can live for over 200 years without significant signs of aging. Similarly, the naked mole rat shows remarkable resistance to cancer and maintains good health throughout its long life. These examples challenge our traditional understanding of aging and suggest it might be possible to extend human life in similar ways if we are able to harness this type of cell regenerative property. The science of aging is quickly advancing. Right now, researchers are exploring various avenues to emulate these biological processes in humans. Studies on telomeres, the protective caps at the end of our chromosomes, have shown that maintaining their length can delay the aging process. Caloric restriction and certain compounds like Rapamycin and resveratrol have demonstrated potential in extending lifespan and health span in animal models. Another promising area of research is cellular senescence, where cells lose their ability to divide and function. By selectively removing these senescent cells, scientists have successfully extended the healthy lifespan of mice. Stem cell therapy, gene editing, and regenerative medicine are also on the frontier of this exciting field, offering potential ways to repair and rejuvenate the human body. Now, this might all seem like science fiction, but researchers in the world are working hard on this, and they've made some fascinating breakthroughs in this field. With the appropriate incentives and sustained research efforts, there's no reason to think that science couldn't eventually make it possible for humans to significantly slow down or even reverse aging. Number 2. Dietary Restriction for tens of thousands of years, aging seemed inevitable. This long-standing belief was challenged in the 1930s by a groundbreaking experiment, well, with a rat. Scientist Clive McKay discovered that rats fed significantly less than normal lived much longer than their well-fed friends. These, These rats, rats didn't just, just extend, extend their, their time as elderly, elderly rodents, rodents, they stayed, they stayed youthful, youthful for longer, them. delaying the onset of diseases and frailty associated with old age. Now, whether this phenomenon applies to larger, longer-lived animals, we're talking about us humans here, remain somewhat uncertain. Also, people who attempt dietary restriction often report persistent hunger, raising questions about whether a few extra healthy years are really worth the trade-off. Now, McKay's findings have spurred further research into dietary restriction and its effects on longevity. Scientists were able to recreate similar results in other species like fruit flies, worms, and monkeys, suggesting that the underlying mechanisms might be conserved across different organisms. However, translating these results to humans has pretty significant challenges, given our complex biology and longer lifespans. But one promising avenue is the development of dietary restriction mimetic drugs, such as rapamycin and metformin. These drugs aim to mimic the effects of eating less by targeting specific pathways in the body that regulate aging and metabolism. Rapamycin was originally discovered as an antifungal agent, and it has shown potential in extending lifespan and improving health in various animal models. It works by inhibiting the mTOR pathway, which plays a crucial role in cell growth and metabolism. And regardless of what people may think about McKay's research, the experiment of calorie-restricted rats holds a special place in aging research. Number 3. Rejuvenating the Thymus 
Just behind your breastbone and in front of your heart lies a small organ called the thymus. This organ is crucial for the production of immune cells. However, the thymus declines with age, contributing to increased susceptibility to infections. This is very evident in older adults who are more prone to severe illnesses like the flu and the coronavirus. The good news is that researchers are exploring multiple strategies to reverse thymic decline. These include gene therapies, stem cells, hormones, and drugs. One promising trial using a hormonal approach not only increased the size of the thymus and the production of new immune cells in participants, but also appeared to make them biologically younger. This was measured by their epigenetic clock. It's a marker of biological age that we'll chat about more later in this video. Now, the impact the of thymus rejuvenation, rejuvenation goes beyond, beyond the immediate, immediate function. function. Treatments aimed at revitalizing the thymus can have broader effects on aging as well. And it's insane, it's insane that, that regenerating such a small organ can influence our entire biological clock. Stem cell therapy could offer a way to replenish the thymus with new, healthy cells. Hormonal treatments have shown promise in clinical trials, with some studies indicating significant improvements to immune function and reductions in biological age markers. Okay, so epigenetic clock. Let's go back to it. It's a tool used to measure biological age based on DNA patterns. In the trial that rejuvenated the thymus, participants not only showed improvements in immune cell production, but also a reversal in this epigenetic age. This shows that the benefits of thymic regrowth has a broader range regarding aging, maybe even delaying the onset of age-related diseases and promoting wellness and longevity. Number four, induced pluripotent stem cells. Induced pluripotent stem cells, IPSCs, could easily top the list in many medical fields because they show promise in aging biology. These remarkable cells are created by reprogramming normal body cells with a combination of four specific genes, allowing them to transform into any cell type researchers can imagine, or in the near future, any cell type a doctor needs to replace, for instance, those lost due to accidents, injuries, or you guessed it, aging. One of the most advanced applications of IPSCs is generating new eye cells to treat age-related macular degeneration, a leading cause of vision loss. However, the potential uses of IPSCs can do a lot more than just eye health. Scientists are exploring their use in treating a wide range of conditions, including Parkinson's disease, arthritis, and thymus shrinkage, which, well, we discussed just earlier. Number five, epigenetic clock. Epigenetics, a collective term for a set of chemical markers attached to our DNA, has become a hot topic in research over the past few decades. Scientists were surprised to discover that these epigenetic changes can provide incredibly precise estimates of a person's age. The first epigenetic clock, so to speak, would be based on this idea that we could predict someone's age within a few years. What's super cool is, if your epigenetic age is higher than your chronological age, it suggests you might be at higher risk for illness or premature death compared to someone whose epigenetic age is lower than their actual age. By the way, if you want to see what Dave Pasco, a retired systems engineer, does to have an epigenetic age of 38 when he's actually 61 years old, don't forget to check out our video on him. We'll have it linked in the description below. Okay, back to our regular programming. The real excitement around epigenetics is not in its predictions of age, but in its potential to revolutionize how we test anti-aging treatments. Instead of administering a new drug to trial participants and waiting a decade to see how it affects mortality rates, a process which takes a lot of time and money, we could simply measure their epigenetic age before and after the treatment within a few months. This approach would dramatically speed up and reduce the cost of testing new anti-aging treatments. This method could significantly accelerate our progress in combating the aging process. Now, the epigenetic clock works by analyzing DNA methylation patterns, which are chemical modifications that affect gene expression without altering the underlying DNA sequence. These patterns change predictably with age, allowing researchers to estimate biological age with remarkable accuracy. Several promising treatments are already being explored using this method. Number six, intermittent reprogramming. Now, intermittent reprogramming is a technique in the field of cellular biology where the reprogramming of cells is applied intermittently rather than continuously. The goal is to rejuvenate cells by resetting their epigenetic markers to a more youthful state without fully converting them into induced pluripotent stem cells, those IPSCs from earlier. This approach aims to reverse some aspects of cellular aging while maintaining the cell's specialized functions. An unexpected side effect of IPSC research is that the same four genes used to transform a cell into any other type of cell also reset its epigenetic clock. This process, known as cellular reprogramming, appears to make cells biologically younger. 
However, performing just enough reprogramming to reduce the biological age of cells without fully reverting them to stem cells can rejuvenate the body. Experiments in mice have demonstrated that intermittent reprogramming can extend lifespan, improve your health, and even regenerate damaged optic nerve cells, something typically only possible during embryonic development. Translating this concept into human therapy has tremendous potential. By safely applying cellular reprogramming techniques, we might restore our cells to a more youthful state, effectively reversing some aspects of aging. The process hinges on the careful regulation of reprogramming factors. Researchers are exploring various strategies to control the extent of reprogramming, ensuring that cells retain their specialized functions while rejuvenating their biological age. And this delicate balance is crucial to avoid the risks associated with uncontrolled reprogramming. Cellular reprogramming offers a unique advantage over traditional anti-aging treatments by directly targeting the underlying cellular mechanisms of aging. This could lead to more effective and comprehensive rejuvenation strategies addressing multiple aspects of aging simultaneously. Number 7. Senolytic Drugs one of the most exciting breakthroughs in aging biology is the development of senolytic drugs, medications designed to eliminate aged, senescent cells. Throughout our lives, we accumulate these cells. They're cells that have divided too many times. They've accumulated significant DNA damage or are just under a lot of stress. And to prevent potential issues, these cells stop dividing. Unfortunately, these senescent cells don't just remain inactive. They secrete harmful molecules that accelerate our aging process. And as we age, the number of these cells increase, creating a vicious cycle of degeneration. The good news is that we can eliminate them. Scientists have now discovered several drugs and treatments that effectively remove these problematic cells in mice. The results? Well, they've been promising. These treatments extend healthy lifespan, delay the onset of cancer and heart problems, and even have improved the appearance of the mice's fur. What's really exciting is that the first senolytic drugs are now entering human trials. And if these trials go as planned, we could see the approval of senolytic treatments for various diseases, from arthritis to cancer, just within a few years. If these trials demonstrate that senolytic drugs are safe and effective, it might not be long before everyone's taking them to remove those senescent cells before they can cause harm to our bodies. This is the ultimate goal of aging biology-inspired medicine, preventative treatments that stop diseases before they start. These senolytics are to become the first true anti-aging medicine. By removing our senescent cells, these drugs could revolutionize how we approach aging, shifting the focus from treating diseases to preventing them entirely. The field of aging biology is experiencing a revolutionary transformation with breakthroughs that give promise of significantly extending healthy human lifespans, from the rejuvenating potential of iPSCs and the precision of the epigenetic clock to the game-changing effects of cellular reprogramming and the targeted elimination of senescent cells by senolytic drugs. Researchers are uncovering new ways to fight aging every day. These advancements, they don't only treat age-related diseases, but also they help prevent them from happening in the first place. There is a new era in medicine as these cutting-edge therapies progress from experimental stages to human trials, one where living longer, healthier lives becomes a realistic possibility. This is super exciting and we're going to make sure to document more of these incredible discoveries on our channel thanks for watching remember with a dash of effort and a pinch of self-care you'll be rocking that youthful glow for years to come if you've enjoyed this video subscribe to our channel where we uncover more revitalixer recipes